Thank you very much indeed. Welcome to this uh, Sunday edition of Bullseye. Thanks very much indeed for watching. We've, we've got 77-year-old Beatrice Smith from... She lives in Shropshire and she, enjoy, and she enjoys the programme so much she's written as a poem, and I think you'll probably enjoy this, but not only the studio audience, but our viewers at home. Listen to this. It's called Unforeseen Pleasure. There must be many young and old who like your Bullseye show. The tension and the skillful art we viewers now all know. Your grand staff who work so hard to make this gem a star. We send a big thank you to all from people near and far. Well, Beatrice, you are very kind. And since poetry's in the fashion, to coin a phrase, I'd like to say, that's great. You're super. Smash it. <laughs> Let's get on with the game. <laughs> How are you, Gail? All right, thank nice you. Nice to see you, Gail C Cuthbertson. Ooh, eh? I bet you're a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Gail, force, never mind. <laughs> we do. <laughs> now, tell me, you're a care assistant. Yes. Tell us exactly what that is, Gail. It's just looking after the elderly. Are they in a sort of a home, a hostel? Or a, a, it's a private home, yeah. Private home, yeah. And, and they're living with you, basically. Yes. They're there to live with you. Yeah. You had a lovely line earlier on. But if you weren't yourself, what would you like to be? A television. She'd like to be a television set. Now, tell us why. So, well, I don't get a lot of attention paid to me at home. If I was a telly, I'd get more attention. Oh, you know? no, is that a bit? <laughs> 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 this is your pal Louise. Louise Mulverhill. That's, that's an right. Irish name, isn't it? Yes, Louise, that's yeah, right. that's right. You're a librarian. That's right. So now, for you people at home, this is a very clever lady. Let's see how she does with the questions. We're going to really <laughs> put the pressure on you all today a little bit. You've got a degree in psychology. That's right. Yes. But it's not a normal degree, is it, in psychology? Tell us. Tell it's us a, a degree in experimental psychology, which is more the um, to do with behaviour of animals, like rats in mazes and. And, and, and trying to ally that into ways that we can assist the human... Right, uh, yes. we say, yeah, yeah, the, the human being. Mm. Do you think this will, will have enriched your psych psychological definitely, knowledge? Definitely, <laughs> 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 We've got Brian and Ian, and you both from Warrington, is that right, Brian? That's right, Jim, Warrington, yes. I know Warrington very well. Done Willispool Club there, you know, well, you yeah, know yeah, the clubs, yeah. don't you? Uh, we're going to say it again to put the pressure on him, you at home, and he'll not thank me for this, he's a county player. Right, so all you people at home, county player, you still like playing the pub game, though, don't you, Brian? Yes. Still enjoy it. Yes. And you much. play for... Uh, what's your pub? Play for the Hawthorne. The Hawthorne. The Golden Lions. It'll be a prickly pubs. crowd. <laughs> what, what I want to follow up with is your job, because we, I've, we've never had this before. We've had firemen on the show. In fact, we had firemen at the Christmas, on the That's Christmas right, show. Yeah. You remember it? And they were brilliant. Yeah. Tell us about this bullock <laughs> in this field. Yeah. Well, well no, it was a bullock in a cesspit. It was in, in, in a, a cesspit? cesspit. Yeah, so... You had to the, get it out? The farmer called the fire brigade and we went to... And that's try and really... rescue this bull from the cesspit. But it's not a fireman's... Oh, it is. So, anyway, I'll, I'll carry on, anyway, if you want me to. <laughs> Go on, yeah, do it. It took us about an hour or so to get this bullock out of the cesspit. When we got it out, it started to run at us. So we run behind the tractor, it followed us round, run round the tractor, straight back in the cesspit. <laughs> <laughs> You've another job with a lot of sort of interesting sidekicks to it, haven't you, uh, Ian? Yeah. You're a bus driver. That's right, yeah. And bus drivers now, with all this uh, time study and whatever and labour saving, and you've got to actually drive the bus and take the fares, haven't you? That's right. A one man operation. A one man operation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got problems when you get. Well, we must be very careful, but old ladies can be a problem, can't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, now, girls, no, 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 nobody in here. No. You've all managed to get in here under your own steam. No, you get the same people every day getting the same bus, the same fare, and they, they keep asking every day, how much is it? <laughs> and then you tell them, and they've got, oh, I've just got that money in my hand. Exactly. <laughs> and if you said it was a penny more, they'd, they'd go, oh, man. Oh, it's gone up again. <laughs> oh, gone up again. That's right, yeah. How are you, George? How are you doing? Nice to see you. I'm fine. I'm, Gra I'm Martin. Hey, These you. boys are from, uh, from Portadown in C County Armagh. We'd be delighted to see them. Travel all the way from, from Belfast to see us. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Lovely to see you. We, uh, the only reason we're giving them a round of applause is because if you came on the ferry, I know what you went through. Right. <laughs> That's a good name, George Byrne, my favourite comic, actually. And you're a diesel mechanic. Yeah. That's right, That's right George. Too. And th your work carries you everywhere yeah. around. Could carry you anywhere in Ireland, wherever the Lord In Northern Ireland? Down, uh, uh, no, over the whole of Ireland. The whole of Ireland. Yeah. You're the captain of Martin, who's your partner there. It's Martin's pub, and it's called... What's it called, Martin? Ferguson's pub. Ferguson's pub. 
Good old Welsh name. <laughs> Ferguson pub. That's fine. And you've got two sons, yes, right? Yes, and I think we're looking out on either... You see the light on one or two of those cameras, whichever the light's on. Yes. You want to do it because the kid... You're, you're, I won't say kids, it's awful. Your children, they love Bully, don't they? So yeah. we're, we're going to ask Bully to give a special hello to them. So where are we? Are we on one? Give them a wave and listen to Bully. Hey, 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 James. <laughs> that's especially for your two sons out there. That's great. <laughs> well, there we are. Six superb contestants. Give them a round of applause. Well done. Thank you. And just to remind you at home, the questions in the first round are worth £30 each. Let's play Bullseye. What do you think, Louise? Choose a subject for Gail. Books, please, Jim. Yes, all right. Come on, Gail. Books we'd like. Plenty of time, sweetheart. Oh. Well, it's no bonus, Jim. Oh, it's no. in Britain. So, Louise, answer me this. In which British city is the area called Tiger Bay? Cardiff. Good girl. Right, Ian, choose a subject for Brian. Could have faces, please, Jim. Faces we're looking for, Brian. Faces. Yes, that's 50, Jim. Good start for you there, uh, Brian. Ian, whose face is that, Ian? Is it Mel Gibson? Are you telling me or asking me? I'm telling you. You Mel are right, Gibson. sir, for £30. Good lad. <laughs> Gives you 80. We move on. All right, Martin, for George. Words, please, Jim. Words we'd like. There's nobody better at it in the world. That's 50. Another £30 if you can tell me this. If someone gives you a brace of pheasant, how many are you receiving? Two pheasants, Tim. <laughs> He's absolutely right, sir. It gives you £30. Gives us the scores at the end of round one. We've got £30 for Gail and Louise, and Brian and Ian and George and Martin, £80 apiece. Well done. <laughs> £50 a question, a little bit more difficult, and, of course, the categories are going from the board, so the dart players will really have to concentrate. What do you think, Louise, for Gail? Places, please, Jim. Places we'd like. That's a bullseye! bullseye. Oh. 200 pounds! <laughs> for another 50 pounds, to take you nicely into the lead, which city stands on the River Liffey? Dublin. Dublin is right. George would have liked that and Martin, <laughs> wouldn't you? Ian. Could have showbiz, please, Jim. We'll do a best. Come on, Brian. Don't let him down. Showbiz we'd like for £50. Yes, that's 50. John Thor plays Inspector Morse in the television series. In which city does the action take place? In Birmingham. It's not. There's a bonus light on. Louise? Oxford. It's right. Gives you a £50 bonus. Good girl. You're looking very good. We move on. Martin for George. Affairs, please, Jim. Affairs this time, George. Affairs. 100. 100. Well Good scoring. That's excellent. 100 pounds. <laughs> well done. For another 50 pounds for you, Martin. Of which organisation is Nelson Mandela the deputy president? The African National Congress. Good man, sir. A further 50 pounds you've got. Which gives us, at the end of round two, 330 pounds for Gail and Louise, Brian and Ian with 130 pounds, and George and Martin with 230 pounds. Well played, all of you. <laughs> 100 pounds a question now. Louise, choose a subject for Gail. Books, please, Jim. Books we'd like, please, Gail. That's 50. Which aristocratic character was created by Francis Hodgson Burnett. There's no light on. Aristocratic character. You all know it, I promise you. There's a light up. Wait, I've got to wait for Bully. <laughs> He's in. Martin? Count Dracula. It wasn't. No, in fact, it was quite the opposite, actually. Little Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on, Ian. Could have sport, please, Jim. We'll do our best for you, sir. Sport. That's a bullseye! 200 pounds! <laughs> Ian, for a further 100 pounds to take you nicely into the lead, who knocked out Mike Tyson in February 1990? Buster Douglas. Gives you 100 pounds, sir. Well played. We move on. <laughs> Martin? Spelling, Jim. please, Jim. George, spelling with like, please. That's 50. If you pretend to be what you are not, it's hypocrisy. Please spell hypocrisy. H-Y-P-O 
C-R-I-S-Y. I'll check that with Bully. H-Y-P-O-C-R-I-S-Y for £100, which gives us, at the end of round three in game one, Gail and Louise with £380, Brian and Ian with £430, and George and Martin with £380. Very well played, all of you. <laughs> so it's pounds for points, isn't it? And over to Tony. Right you are, Gail. First round. It's 12. 5. And 20. So 37. Same round. 37 to me. <laughs> Treble 5. 20. And I'm very unlucky. So 35, very unfortunate. George, still 37 to beat. Trouble one. 20. Another 20, 43. And that takes the first round in. Which part of the body, in particular, is mainly affected by gout. Shh. The toe, Jim. Yes, the toe was what we wanted, not the foot. It's, in fact, it's the toe. That's fine for £43, which gives us £380, playing £430, playing £423, all to play for. Back to Tony for round two. Right, you are, Gail. Treble 20. Treble 20. And 20, 140. Well done. <laughs> there you are, Brian. Big score. 20. 5. And 1, 26. George. 140 to beat. Twenty. Twenty. And five forty-five. So with 140, Gale takes the second round, Jim. What type of metal is liquid at ordinary temperatures? Mercury. Gives you 140 pounds. Which gives us, at the end of round two, Gail and Louise, the two girls, £520. Brian and Ian, £430. George and Martin, £423. Anybody's game as we move into round three, back to Tony. Yes, all on this last round, Gail. Best of luck. It's one. One. And 20. 22. Think about it, Brian. 22 to be. One. One. And 20. 22 is a lot of pressure. OK, George. 22 it is. Treble 20. Treble 5. And that's the ball. <laughs> 125 score. <laughs> For £125, Martin, and... A place on Bullish Prize Board takes you through to the second half. Which festival do the Americans celebrate on the fourth Thursday of each November, Martin? And there's a light on. Thanksgiving, Jim. Is correct. <laughs> For £125.
We come to the commercial break and we've got to lose two couples and it really is sad that anyone should have to leave this picture. Look at these scores. £520 for Gail and Louise, Brian and Ian with £430, but through to the Bullish Prize board, George and Martin with £548. We've got to say cheerio to Gail and Louise and Brian and Ian. In you come. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you'd done it with the bullseye, I really did then. And the boy, you were still well in there, weren't you, with a shout yeah. at that? Well, never mind, you've got £430 here. I shall count this out now. 430 for you and 520 Oh, that's not bad, is it? Yeah. Not bad for a day out, is it? Yeah. And you've got your, look, see, your bullies, they're worth about four and eight, isn't they? And, <laughs> and the darts there, you see, and your goblets for the ladies and tankards for the gentlemen and your bullies and the cash here. All right, I'll count it out now. It's going to take me two minutes. Come back, it'll be an incredible second half. See you then. <laughs> Welcome back to part two in this, uh, well, a memorable show this is, dear, dear me. Martin, Thanksgiving. Oh, <laughs> I thought, honestly. Yeah. Anyway, you can relax for a second now because uh, it's Bronze Bullies' turn to get some money maybe for a charity of your choice. Uh, we shouldn't have favourites on Bullseye, Bullseye but uh, this is one of ours. Big in heart, big in stature, lovely fella. Throw him for charity, Cliff Lazarenko. Thank you. Very nice, that. Best of luck, Cliff. 20. Treble 20. And treble 1. 83. Good start, Cliff. <laughs> 20. 1. 20. 41. Unlucky. 124, Cliff. Plus these. Still do it. Treble 20. Treble 20. And 20, 140. Oh. Yeah. 264. Oh. 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 Very well, oh, Jim. Very, very nearly well. then, wasn't it? Oh, oh, on. On. Second oh. throw. Second Second throw. Never, mind. Never mind. Nice to have you with us. That's a pleasure. You've travelled the world, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, certainly have, Jim. A few surprises, yeah. We've yeah. got two fellas from over the water here. Haven't, we they, done well. haven't they played well? Yeah, really. superb. Tell us where the money's going, Martin. It's going to the Northern Ireland Hospice. There aren't many over there, are there? No, indeed, no. Good. You'll, it'll be well received over there. £264, courtesy of Cliff. Cliff! you lovely fella. We always nice to see you. Always a pleasure to be a bullseye. Every series you've been with, isn't it? I think it's, what, ten, isn't it? Yeah, it's the ten. It's pretty special, this one, isn't it, Jim? Yeah, we're pleased. Yeah. I know you want to wish the boys all the yeah. best. Best of luck, gentlemen. I think best they'll do it, do you? Best of luck. I think they'll do it. Oh, I think so. I, I think, think so. I think show. they could pull that curtain back at the end of the show. All right, then. Let's see. Thanks, Cliff. Ladies and gentlemen, Cliff Lutheranko. I've got to tell you, that guy is one special guy. Right, now then, George and Martin, your turn. Your worries are over now. £548 is in your... Well, it's not in your pocket, it's in mine. But I haven't given it yet, all of it. Uh, let's have a look what Bullies Prize Board has got for you tonight. In one. Reduce those kitchen chores with this labour-saving dishwasher. In two. Fun-filled hours for little ones with this selection of toys. In three. Housework will be a pleasure with this high-pressure jet cleaner. In Four. There'll be no more stopping to buy one with this home ice cream maker. In five. This'll take your breath away and more. It's an exercise bike. In six. Good listening wherever you go with this personal stereo. In seven. Relax with a coffee with this attractive table. In eight. You'll never miss that important call with this cordless telephone. And bully special prize. No more queuing or parking problems with this zippy little moped. <laughs> Eight down the board and bully special prize. The behind the red sectors. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in the bed. The light will come on to tell you that you've won the prize. Nine prizes to be taken, nine darts to take them. Your first three, George. In you go. We wish you all the very best. Okay, George. Let's take it steady. Best of luck. 
black. That's the bullseye! That's marvellous. You've got the moped. That's the smacking driver. Look at the scooter. Well done. Now keep out. And red number one. That's a good one. That's the dishwasher. I know you wanted that one. I heard you muttering. That's you, well, two on three, and two of them you wanted, didn't you? Well played. Okay, Martin. Remember what's gone. Black. Black again. But that's red. It's number six. Fine. That's the personal stereo. So you still well find three darts to go, and you've, you've got three fairly good prizes. Well, very good prizes, really. Okay, George. Red number two. Fine, that's a selection of toys. Just in black. Well, that's red, it's number three. That's fine, that's the high pressure jet cleaner. You have won the dishwasher, the selection of toys, the high pressure jet cleaner, the personal stereo, and Bully's special prize, that moped. <laughs> All right. That those prizes, those prizes are now yours. You now own those prizes. You also own £548, and your hospice is getting £264, courtesy of Cliff Lazarenko. Keep the money, we're not bothered about that. But the prizes that you own, were well, you prepared to gamble those prizes for the prize which is hiding behind Bully there? You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. 101 or more with six darts, all those prizes against tonight's star prize, and it's all or nothing. Remember, if you don't get the 101, you lose everything apart from the money in this lot. What would, the, would you? What do you do? Do you think? <laughs> You're going for it. Yes, sir. Non dark political first. All the very best. We wish you all the best. Come on with me. You, in you go, Marty. Come on with me. Stand over here. Listen to Tony now. Please do take your time. No, this is it. As I say, tonight's star prize, but Martin, just take it easy. There's no rush. 101 or more. We'll settle down first. That's the way. Nice and easy. Best of luck. Here we go. Two. Fifteen. And treble seven. So, that gives you 38, Martin. George, 63 or more will take tonight's star prize. Oh, you're not looking. 63 or more. 20. One. Treble seven, oh, wrong oh, Boys, That's the gamble. Boys, I'm awfully sorry. It's got to be one of those most cruel sayings in the world. Have a look at what you could have won. Come right. with me. Right. Come on. And Bully's star prize tonight is a fabulous villa holiday on Portugal's fashionable Algarve. Based here, you'll enjoy all the amenities of your own private villa. Take a dip in the pool, perhaps. Stroll down one of those famous beaches. Try a barbecue, maybe, and taste some of the local mouth-watering specialities. It's all here. And all for the throw of a dart. Well, boys, we're bitterly disappointed. Awfully sorry about it. It was a great holiday, but, well, you were playing well. You've had a good day. You've got £548. You've got... There's the money you see in the tanker, which is there for you. The two tankers, the bullies and the darts. So, yeah, you're not going all empty-handed, are you? It's been marvellous to have you with us. It's a credit to you from over the water. Thanks very much for watching Bullseye. Thanks to Cliff Lazarenko for that charity throw. Been nice to have you with us on a Sunday afternoon. See you next week. Remember, the weekend wouldn't be the same without a bit of bullying. Bye.